What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we're going to give you another full tour of this brand new construction home in the northern San Fernando Valley in the city of Porter Ranch. This brand new coastal contemporary home behind me features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, 4,606 square feet of interior space, and it's currently priced to start at just $2.3 million. Starting a tour in the front of the home, I know you guys love to see these brand new models, so we gotta show you another one. Lots of beautiful landscaping here in the front yard. As you look to my left, there's the driveway. It leads up to the sleek, modern, blue-tinted two-car garage door, and there's a single garage door to my left as well. Same finishes on the exterior, and right in the center, we walk up to the large front door and this grand entryway before we go inside the house. Welcome inside once again. We've done a lot of these homes on the channel. If you wanna see another one of them, click the link right above me. But here is the grand entrance, very high ceilings above. You have the floating staircase to my right with a glass railing and it leads up to a bridge that you're gonna see when we get to the second level. But first we're gonna take a turn to my right, check out this first bedroom. All right, welcome in, it's very cozy, very nice carpeted flooring. You have this built-in desk space over to my right with two floating wood shelves. I like that teal tint you see on the back side of that wall. Custom walls on the back side of the bed, closet is on this side and the bathroom is right next to the entrance. Absolutely amazing tiles in here. This is an upgrade in the house. If you purchase this, you can add these own, these tiles to the floors and into the shower walls. Similar ones in a honeycomb pattern there on the shower flooring, quartz countertops, just white everywhere. Cabinetry, countertops, floors, very luxurious. But as we head across this bedroom, look at this. This is a very nice space because you have a living area with a flat screen TV and you have a kitchen area over on this side. Great place to entertain, to serve some guests, to hang out, lounge around if you don't wanna be in the open living space. You have some bar seating here, as I said, to serve up. Very nice countertop, same stone we saw in the bathroom. Built-in KitchenAid microwave, and you have a mini fridge down there below. Super convenient. And this door leads into the one car garage, not the two car garage that you have on the other side. But let's head back out. Check this out. So much natural sunlight is coming into this space. You can just tell already, beautiful views. Thank God it's an amazing day today. Not a cloud in the sky. You'll be seeing that when we go out there. Well, let's take a turn into the powder room. Similar finishes in the powder room, custom design on the wall. Love that tile. They have it going all the way up to the ceiling. Then you have a coat closet directly outside. Boom. And now here we are. Beautiful open layout, open floor plan. You have your dining area directly in the center of your family room and your kitchen. Now look at this, let's go into the kitchen. This is insane. This has to be one of the largest center islands that I've ever seen and I've seen a lot of center islands. I can trust you on that. It's a perfect square, eight feet by eight feet. Breakfast bar seating on the outside, waterfall edge, and I love the light fixtures that are hanging down from that drop down ceiling. That is a large drop down ceiling above there. Same stone on this side, as well as the backsplash. Modern cabinetry all throughout. Then we have your fridge and freezer. I love a dark interior fridge and freezer. Check that out. And then built-in microwave, plate warmer right beneath that. As we make our way to this side, same stone, but let's go in here. It's where you have your walk-in pantry. To the left, floating shelves, and then this wood paneled backsplash that goes all the way up to the ceiling, and that is real wood. And there's the door that leads to that two-car garage. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Look at this, look at these drawers. Beautiful wood drawers. I was not expecting that. You don't see that too often. You have these more modern, glossy white drawers with the chrome handles. Six burner stove, same backsplash as we see throughout the counters. You have your dishwasher, trash compactor, everything you need in the kitchen, but let's keep going. Let's just go outside. I think this is the space I would probably spend the most time right next to the fireplace because it is the winter. It is a little chilly these days. So you turn that on, you get warm. Make our way to this side. Look at that. Built-in beer on tap. Absolutely beautiful. Have a drink, look at your views and just enjoy your house. I love the countertops here. Bar seating on both sides. You can actually have a Thanksgiving meal here as well. Just imagine your family overlooking these views. Right in the center, you can place all your high-end bottles. More room on the other side. This definitely completes this backyard. I love this area with the awning above us as well, covered a bit. And we make our way this side. There's your pool 
with the waterfall flowing right down into that pool, right next to those views and those glass railings. Wrapping around back toward the house and the entry of the pool, it is turfed completely all the way to this side where we have a couple day beds you can lounge around. And then two steps that lead up to this corner, this elevated lounge space. So you can just overlook your backyard, overlook the views. And that's, that's pretty much it out here. Let's go back inside. Pretty much it, but it's amazing. Look at all the natural sunlight that's coming in right here. I'm honestly getting blinded and it's January. We have these sliding glass doors opened up completely to your family room area. Flat screen TV, fireplace down beneath it, built-in speakers all throughout where the ceilings drop down a bit so you make it more, a little more cozy, more movie-like in this space. And right as you step into the dining area, the high ceilings open up, love the light fixtures hanging down, and then you have the paneled, wood paneled ceilings above with a bunch of recessed lighting. Beautiful area overall, such a nice open concept floor plan. But now let's see how the upstairs is different. Coming up the wide floating staircase, you have glass railings to both sides and it leads you to this bridge area where you can look down into the dining space or down into the front entrance. It's opened up and let's take a turn behind me and let's go this way. All right, the first bedroom we're checking out, beautiful bedroom. I love the staging, obviously Toll Brothers does an incredible job with the interior design always. Look at that bed, the back side you have wood walls and then the ceiling looks like you're in space. It's a nice starry night out, even though there's not a cloud in the sky when you look to the right and you look directly at that sun. But then you have your closet space on the other side and here's the bathroom. So the bathroom tile is actually in a honeycomb pattern, but these are, this is wood, which is really cool and unique. You don't see that often at all. Good amount of countertop space to both sides of your sink on your vanity. Toilet is next to that, of course, built in bathtub in the shower and then upgraded walls surrounding your shower. Chrome shower head, let's check out the next bedroom. But before the next bedroom, we have this space where you can hang out, lounge around, or set up your desk, do some homework maybe for the kids. And this is, this is nice. I, I love the, the wood floating shelves, love the designs, love the animals. What's, what's your guys' favorite animal? Let me know. Is it a giraffe? Is it an elephant? Pick one. I'll probably, maybe the giraffe. The giraffe can reach high places, definitely. On the other side, you have floating, drawer space, flat screen TV. I like that darker wood tone as well. And then the shelf above just makes it complete. Built-in speakers throughout so you can watch a movie up here if you don't wanna do it downstairs. But now follow me down the hall. Here in the laundry room, we have Whirlpool appliances, washer and dryer. Here's your sink in your laundry room. Countertop space to both sides. I like the light blue tint on these tiles and then floating shelves, lots of space in there, lots of storage space, typical laundry room. As we go down the hallway, there are two more bedrooms before the master. One of them is ensuite. The other one has a bathroom right here. And as you see in this bathroom, lots of countertop space. Once again, I really like the vanities you'll see throughout the house. They're very similar. And then you have your toilet in the corner, built-in bathtub once again, perfect for the kids. A different custom design wall going all the way up to the ceiling in the shower. And then surf. Let me know if you guys like surfing. I've never done it, but maybe I'll try it one day. As we keep moving this way, you have a nice clock roped around the clock right there. I don't, I don't know if it works, but we can probably set that to the right time. It's enough playing around though. Let's move this way. All right, obviously this is staged for someone that loves tennis. I do like this quote, you only live once, but you get to serve twice. Obviously in tennis, you get to serve the ball twice if you mess up the first one, but you only live once, that's, that's a fact. Here in this bedroom, it's facing the front yard and the street area. I like the wallpaper design, all the tennis rackets sticking with that theme. And then the bathroom has these beautiful quartz countertops, less countertop space than in the other bathroom, but this one's convenient because it's attached to your bedroom as the other one is not. Shower does not have a bathtub. And then you have light blue tinted tile on the shower going all the way up to the ceiling once again. But out of here, let's see how the next bedroom is. But actually before that, boom, there's the closet for this one. If you were wondering where that was, right outside the entrance. Now I feel like I gotta say in all of these model tours, but these doors will be built in once someone purchases these. It's not just gonna be open living throughout so everyone can just see everyone. No one gets privacy. That's not how it's gonna be. 
This bedroom, a little bit smaller than the other one. As you can see, they staged it for a younger child. You have the crib there and then, wow, beautiful wallpaper. That is just the ocean. The entire house is ocean themed, honestly, except for the last bedroom, tennis themed. But I do like this woven rope light fixture directly above in the center. Once again, facing the front of the house, closets to my left. And as I said, not en suite because we already saw the bathroom that you would use if that was your bedroom and it's right there. But we got to check out the master, the last bedroom of the house. So follow me this way. Well, before we keep going, I had to stop on this bridge because I think this adds a beautiful, luxurious touch to the house. It doesn't feel like it's under 3 million. It, it would definitely be over five plus if this was somewhere in the city, in the main areas, because it just feels very luxurious that you can look down into the front entrance and into the backyard with the views. Just absolutely beautiful. And it leads you to your primary suite. Wow, this is nice. This is, this is really nice. I haven't seen a master bedroom really look like this in any of these Toll Brother model houses. But let's first look at this custom design wood walls. That takes a lot of effort to put these into a home on the back side of your bed, all the way up to the ceiling. Really adds a nice touch. Complements the wood flooring very well in here, but I just wanna lead to this side. This is a grand office area. Now there's not, there's no glass door or anything that will enclose this office space, but I don't think they need to. The diagonal wood beams just play very well to give you that different space from where you sleep to where you work. They did a great job in here. I like the wallpaper, the green wallpaper adds a nice touch to this modern light fixture above in the circular brass tone. And then, yeah, this is just, this is it. I might have to face this toward the window though, so I can get those views of the, of the valley and of the sun. And there it is, not a cloud in the sky. I had to, had to say it one more time again, but this community is gonna look amazing. Let's get a couple drone shots of what the community currently looks like now. And then you guys will see it in a year or two once it is fully done and amazing. But we gotta check out the bathroom in here. Pretty nice, so I haven't seen it yet myself, so this is my first time going about it, but you have the little, little mud space here, as you might call it, with lots of cabinet space, storage space, down below as well. Full-size body mirror as we walk down this hallway, and more space to put whatever you need in your closet. We're already in the closet, basically. The bathroom is behind me. Space to sit down right outside your bathroom is here, or you can use it because this is your closet. Whoa, whoa. It is always a treat to see how they design these closets here in all these model homes. This one is definitely up there with some of the best. I like this island with the glass accessory space. You can pull out those drawers, store whatever you need. You can see jewelry, glasses, watches, etc. whatever you might want. You have a mirror to my left and just LED lights to brighten everything up. So you can just imagine what it would look like in here when you have all your clothes ready to go for the day. This is incredible. 10 out of 10 closet, but let's see the bathroom. Okay, pretty nice bathroom. We have dual vanities, one on each side of the bathroom with tons of countertop space, as you can see. Same amount of countertop space to both sides. Oversized mirror above. I love the wood in here. The finishes are incredible. You have your tub directly in the center, freestanding deep soaking tub in front of your glass enclosed shower with marble book matched, book matched marble on the walls behind the chrome shower head. Shower bench is also marble. Absolutely beautiful. This is a, an incredible design. What more do I have to say? Private toilet room is over on the opposite side so you can just have your piece in there when you gotta do your thing, obviously. But that was pretty much it for this master and this bedroom. What'd you guys think of this one? I hope you guys like this home tour. Had to blind myself just for this outro shot because I do love the turf and the look of the home from this angle. But thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you did, let me know in the comments and hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more of these videos in the future. Really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.